Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You know, I think I like so much the inside, the special inside. This is the one for me. This is just amazing. We can come here and share just a little word and then just, I want you to think. So, the next one, actually, you guys, if you didn't watch the other video saying that I got, you got drop a video deeper, but now, just what? I will drop for a purpose. Are you? You know, sometimes things happen to our life and we think that, you know, that's say our life is over. No, it's not over yet. And sometimes, God will allow the drop in to happen so he can take you, so he can show you how awesome it is. If it's a marriage, if your man just drop you, just one. God will come here so he can show he's a restorer. If you've never been, been sick before, how you know that God is a healer? If you never have issue, how you know that God can restore whatever it is? If you've never been in this a, a situation where your mind is wasting, where you don't know that you know for sure that you cannot help yourself. But just what that opportunity bring in, it gave a Christ uh, a space to come in and show you his love. Don't be upset if you got job. And I will tell you, I got job for purpose. It was a purpose why somebody dropped me. And the good thing is, whoever allowed the drop in never leave you alone. You know, like that Jonathan uh, on some story, the nurse picked the baby up again. And she nourished him. And she makes sure that he is in a safe place. Whatever, whoever allowed the dropping to happen, because that's the guy. Don't worry about who dropped you. Because actually, sometimes the person who dropped you, actually, when everything else is all over, you will thank them. That's what I call dropping in purpose. The dropping happened for a purpose, for a reason, for a cause. Just like that nurse, he never leave him. He, she, went, she was there to the very end. And you and I, we can rely on that. Don't accuse the dropper. Because sometimes we need that dropper. That's not going to actually nourish us. If God allows something to happen to your life, don't be angry at God. Don't be angry at God. Because he already got you. He knows, he trusts you that you can handle that. Sometimes when things happen to me, I say, Lord, I thank you that I am the candidate, the perfect candidate to handle this. When we got the attitude, nothing will shake you. I learn how to be unshakable when things happen to me. I may, I may be quiet sometimes, but you know, I always give him the praise. I say, Lord, I thank you for what happened. I mean, I understand because sometimes we are afraid of the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. But you and I today trust in God. Because trust in God in all ways. And not lead to your own understanding. And always acknowledge him. And you will direct your heart. I thank you. And I hope you do so. Next video, my friend. Ciao for now.